everyone, it's Paola, so welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I've been planning it for a little while. Um, I wanted to do a rebranding of Bath & Body Works because one, rebrands are really fun. Rebranding, redesigning, reimagining a brand is so much fun. And two, Bath & Body Works specifically has always seemed a little outdated to me, even in their revamping of their brand. And I get that it's for a specific audience, but I want to make it for a new kind of audience and just see what I can come up with. So that's what we're doing today. I'm excited and let's go. Before we get into it, please look at my Patreon and consider donating to me there and becoming a patron and follow me on Instagram. And also these earrings are amazing and they are designed by a cool friend of mine, a little internet friend um, who was also a patron. She's amazing. And yeah, Millie Gems, that will be linked below also. So I have my laptop here and we're gonna get to work. So Bath & Body Works is basically just a US brand. It's also in Canada, so it's mainly North American. And yeah, it started in the 90s, at the beginning of the 90s, and they have so many stores now. It's very like focused on the brick and mortar kind of stores over online retailing, um, which is has always, you know, changed throughout the years. And I feel like some stores are going toward brick and mortar and some are like really pushing online. A lot of people are pushing online. So it's interesting that they're not really like that. Um, it's all about shopping in store, I feel like with Bath and Body Works and even using coupons and stuff like that, which I feel like in general, the company is just kind of antique at this point. <laughs> so I actually have some examples of Bath and Body Works candles behind me. I think Bath & Body Works candles smell amazing and I think that their products are nice. I don't use them as much as I used to. I also have been getting into like kind of like trendier candles. I think this is the problem. Bath & Body Works is not seen as trendy really anymore. Um, some people really like it. That's fine. I like it. I love the smells, but like it's not trendy. So what I think we're going to do is kind of go more modern with it more maybe minimal but i don't know exactly if that's like the right word um but yeah just kind of like take the branding to the next level and then maybe show some like packaging ideas that would be different and new and updated so i'm just updating the brand it might be completely off from their original vision but that's the reason they're going for what they're going for i'm gonna do something different so they have like everything at bath and body works they really push the candles i feel like that's their main thing they also obviously have lotions soaps shower gels fragrances things like that so it's just a really big company overall and they have so many products but i kind of want to just focus on focus on the candles and all this, like the main branding because I feel like those are the things that I can just kind of update. So let's talk about the logo. First of all, these colors are very bright. We have pink, blue, we have kind of a checkerboard picnic blanket kind of pattern. Um, and that's, it's definitely a choice. <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to hate on it. That's not what I'm here to do, but I definitely want to just revamp it to a whole other feel than this. I definitely feel like this feeling is very, suburban if that's even like a description of something yes i think it is but it's like for it's for women and they market to kind of like primarily middle-aged women and i just want to see what it would be like if we did something completely different and really revamped their whole brand and what they do and i just feel like the candle companies out there right now are doing really cool stuff and i want bath and body works to keep up so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna create a logo a new logo but I definitely want to keep it type-based. I don't want to do any like pictures, images. I want to keep it type um, because I really like type and I think I like that that is their vibe. And I don't think that a candle brand or like, I'm calling it a candle brand, but obviously there's more there, but I don't think this kind of brand needs like a lot of busyness. I think to keep it simple will be, will be best. Okay, so let's just start with the words. <laughs> and get into what this is actually gonna end up looking like. Okay, so I'm using Adobe fonts and I don't know if I have something that I wanna use yet, so I'm just gonna take a quick look through here. Um, there might be some cool typefaces that I haven't seen yet or haven't considered. Um, but yeah, I feel like we have to go really like sans serif, kind of that clean, minimal vibe, which the brand is already doing, but I feel like we're gonna do it in a new way. Maybe not like thin letters, maybe thicker. We're gonna work with a few different things. I'm really liking this font because first of all, this ampersand is really interesting and the letters are more thick 
than than thin, which is like what the original logo was doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. I'm feeling this one more. Um, I feel like this is more the vibe I'm going for and everything around this, like yeah, it's simple type, but this like new branding for it will just elevate it, especially like when we put everything together as the brand. made the executive decision to just stray away from the works part I feel like maybe that's gonna help the brand in this rebrand I mean in terms of this rebrand just like getting rid of the works part will be beneficial I think so this ampersand is super cool I love it I think it should be in here and I think it kind of is like body form like it reminds me of that so that's definitely gonna be that and we're working out of here now okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this logo and put it onto a candle label and show you how this little rebrand is gonna Come together so I don't really know the size of these labels but I'm gonna make sort of like a rectangular shape kind of vibe and see if something comes out so we're gonna make a label that's like two and a half by three and a half so let's bring our logo in let's change the color of this that's for sure I feel like it needs to be white and the background of this needs to be a color. So what I'm thinking for the actual candles, as you can see, they have like fun labels on them um, that show like what the scent is. But what I'm thinking is I should do something that is kind of just like very simplified, very moody almost, but still kind of feminine in a way. I'm really liking the symbol like just the ampersand to like represent the brand on a candle label um so like obviously the title of the store like the the words what is that called the heading when it, you're in a mall and you see the store type i don't know what it's called anyway you would see this um but then like the candles and the branding and the packaging would all have sort of like different variations which is what i'm trying to show here it's kind of like funky i really feel like i went in a different direction than i expected but i'm really liking this direction for some reason um this red is kind of hot let's see how this would look in a mock-up shall we That's actually really nice. So then we're gonna actually make a candle box. Um, I know that the Bath and Body Works candles don't come in boxes, but wouldn't it be kind of fun if they did? Okay, so what we're gonna make is a little box. So we're gonna do this, eh, we're gonna kind of just make it bigger. So let's get that. Let's get the same color, but we're gonna do this in a different shape. Let's just do that. Oh, you guys, this is really coming together. What the heck? Okay, and so then the top view of the box is gonna have the name of the candle you're like buying, right? So this is gonna be 
just simple like i'm just gonna make it simple but we're gonna make it on the same artboard as this so this is gonna be in this like i really like this typeface with this so i actually think we definitely went more groovy than i expected hmm, and that's a good thing Okay, so there you have it. That is our little redesign, like mini redesign um, of Bath and Body Works. And I did a whole new like logo and a little variation of a logo, which would be the ampersand. And then I kind of turned it into a candle brand, which I'm not mad about. I just thought it'd be fun to do something, especially because I know they're known for their candles. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> I actually think it went in a way different direction than I was thinking and I'm not mad about it at all. I'm pretty pleased with it actually. <laughs> okay, so that was my little rebrand. I definitely wanna do way more of these. I'm totally into that if you guys are into that. So let me know if you wanna see me redesign any more packaging, logo, anything that's sort of chill. This was more chill for sure. But I'm actually really proud about how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and kind of followed along with what I did. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and let me know what you thought in the comments below and what other brands you'd like to see me redesign. Um, yeah, I'd love a challenge. So I think it would be fun. And yes, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please follow me on Instagram, like I said at the beginning. And check out my Patreon. I'll see you in my next video. Okay, have a good one. Bye! This is a lot of fun. I actually did not put pressure on myself, had fun, didn't go through too many steps, and I'm just showing you what it was really like. Wow, okay. I just, something just clicked within me, so I'm gonna roll with this feeling. <laughs>